Okay. So here we are. This is the beginning. I've already chosen a race. I was a little slow in the uptake of recording this. And so I'm just going through Game of Planets and this is the beginning. So uh, I'm going to name my home planet Sparta. This is the very beginning of the game. So here we have a tutorial. Game resources. There are five starting resources in the game. You will need these to build ships, improve your planets, and you can trade them with other players. You can increase the amount of resources produced by, research new, by researching new technologies, constructing improvements on your planet, or mining planets and the moon. And so what do we got up here? Actinides. Halogens, metal alloys, lanthanides, organic compounds. Okay. Then we have a star date. The game time is one hour equals 10 seconds. One day is four minutes. One month is two hours. One year is a day. Time the game passes much faster than it does in real life and will continue passing even when you are not logged into the game. Okay, we've got research. This displays the total number of research points generated by your empire. When something important happens, a game message will be delivered here, and you can click here to access preferences and game settings. Okay, so here's my home star system, Christos. Very nice. These star systems are unexplored. Once you build a galactic telescope, you will be able to start gathering detailed information about them. Okay. Everything within the screen is located inside the small quadrant of the galaxy minimap. I see that. Okay. You can move the mouse to the edges of the galaxy. Try it out. Okay. Okay. So you can move this around. Try it out. You can use the keyboard arrows. Okay, continue. I have a game message. Click on the game message. You have constructed the galactic telescope. Jump to. Oh, look at this. I've got a galactic telescope. Telescoping unexplored systems will allow you to determine where planets suitable for colonization or mining are located. So you click the telescope and then click something. Study Una. New technologies are very important to expand and click the research tab. Research screen. Acquiring technologies acquires your empire with better, provides your empire with better weapons, faster and bigger ships, stronger defenses, and more constructed options, more construction options, and many other useful bonuses and abilities. In order to discover new technologies, they must first be researched. Okay. Seven areas of research. There are seven areas of technological research, each with its own benefits and specialized focuses. Physics, engineering, biology, philosophy, warfare, materials, and astronomy. Very nice. <laughs> Click on the physics tab. Each technology research will provide your empire with bonuses, abilities, and construction points. Click on the Al Cooper Drive. Okay. Two months. Increase research. Enables light speed propulsion. Propulsion, increase research by 10%. Estimated time, two months and four days. Begin research. Each area of research is important, but we recommend researching one or more of the following technologies to begin. Note, researching multiple projects will divide your efforts and each project will take longer. Biospheres, cybernetics, permaculture, powered exoskeletons, biomimicry, and weather control. Okay. I have to get rid of that thing. Proper management of your colonies will ensure your empire remains strong. Click on the colonies tab. 
Okay, click the command button. Sparta. As you colonize other worlds, these conditions will be different for each planet and can greatly affect the efficiency of your planet. Population 9.4 billion, average size, telluric planet, medium gravity, three moons, tolerable te temperatures, tolerant atmospheres, moderate weather, complex biodiversity, active seismics. Colony production. Each of your colonies will produce a certain amount of resources based upon the abundance of natural resources on the surface. These numbers can be increased by constructing certain buildings and by researching new technologies and poor planetary conditions can be also negative, can also negatively impact the resource production of a colony. You can see a breakdown of the current production values by hovering your mouse over each production icon. Organic abundance, homeworld bonus, species advantage. Okay, 26.5, 19.4. Okay, got it. Planetary construction. This is the planetary construction panel. Here you can manage what your colonies build. Construction projects can be added, canceled, or queued. To the right, you will see your first construction project is almost finished. Ah. There are five different construction categories. Facilities, upgrades, geotechs, defenses, and ships. Each construction project takes a certain amount of time, game time in order to complete and requires a certain amount of resources. Each building you construct will provide its own benefits and abilities. To begin, we recommend building one or more of the following. Planetary shipyards, housing developments, industrial farming, or training facilities. I see, I see, I see. Shipyards. Okay, game is loaded. I am going to sneeze. Okay, what we got here? 51 research points. 195, 159, 159, 210, 232. So research, we are currently researching that drive. Excuse me. If I go to the colony, I should build some. Four days, seven hours. Planetary shipyards. Okay. Planetary shipyards. So we want to start building some ships pretty quick. So I'm going to build that. But then I'm going to pause it because then it makes the others faster. I can press the surface scan here, and that starts to get me some more resources. My telescope is taking a look. So this is the beginning. This is the start of the whole game. And if you look down here, you got civics, designs, politics, and ships. They open up as you build uh, what is necessary in order for them to be created. So at the beginning, you're in the middle of nowhere and you don't know who is around you. And there may be 60 other empires coming in or maybe five, maybe 10, we don't know. So right now, I'm in Christos. Here's my system. Here is Sparta, the planet, home planet. And then everything around me, I don't know what is there. So I have to research to start opening up some of these other doors. And basically, I want to get some ships exploring. Um, 
So this is the beginning of Game of Planets. I missed the very beginning uh, when I was choosing a race. And so you have to choose a race before you get to that home world that we started with. I missed that part because I said I would start this at the beginning. And of course, I started without the recording going on. And hopefully, I'll get a little bit more exciting than, uh, than this. I played the game three times before. It starts a little slow. Uh, this may change because it's, uh, I think, been adapted. And it builds up momentum. You, it's something you can always have in the background. You have to wait for things to build and for ships to move. So you don't always have to be tracking it like a one person shooter game. It's more of a strategy game that you can keep coming back to while you're doing other work. So I like it because it's in the background and uh, it gives me something of interest to play with. So this is Captain Sweep and this is the beginning of doing a I guess a bit of an instructional video about how to play this game. And uh, <laughs> I thought I had a lot more to say, but that's just the beginning. So thanks for tuning in. And if you like the game, go to gameofplanets.com and uh, join the game.